seven. Right, so we've just got the uh, teams ready. We have, uh, is it 50 Shades of, 50 shades of, dojo. of dojo? And we have um, Road to Genbu. Road to Genbu. Now this should be interesting. Because <laughs> the first player for Road to Genbu is Vindaloo. He's actually our media manager at ELF. So all the lovely pictures that you see being taken um, and being published all over our Facebook and Twitter and all that type of jazz is, is by him. Show you. He's, uh, he keeps getting better all the time. I, I face him. So we have Shaheen versus Ling Shaoyu first up. Wow, uh, just as I said before about characters we don't really see in, and we see someone actually using Shaheen, so this is uh, great. We see how he does against uh, Ling Xiaoyu. Starts with a hop kick straight away. And Shaheen is a very so solid character. It's sort of liking him to how he plays like a Lee. Oh, and now he just gets hit by the California roll from Ling Xiaoyu. This is a rage arc. Oh, a rage arc. gonna hit, but you probably should have saved the rage for the d damage. You Wait, know? so when, you, when you've got the rage art and you're flashing red, mm -hmm. how much more damage does your character actually do? Well, it depends on how much life you have. So when you just get hit into rage, I wouldn't ever advise about using it raw if you're not certain it's going to kill. When you have a pixel of life, then you could make the point of uh, using it raw because then you've literally probably got one mix up if they don't have full life. So I would always recommend to do. Uh, to save the raise damage unless you know they're going to die because if you use it as he's done there you have one mix up maybe if you get a wall combo and a wall break you know but if you save it then it's, you can just dab them out maybe so I wouldn't really use it at the, at the as soon as you get it if they don't have uh, enough life to kill but do you get a damage buff because you're enraged is it like Tekken Tag because you were stronger when you were enraged yeah they've toned down the, the actual raw damage that you get so you don't get as much raw damage so then it does have the mind game of whether you do it or not. And we just have a uh, scumbag whitewash from Vindaloo using <laughs> Ling Shao Yu as a finisher with the unblockable against the wall. He's laughing because he knows how scumbag that was, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. See, next we've got one of our, another elf player. Uh, let me just educate these guys on what one to choose. If you play one, if you play one. <laughs> Do you know, I, I keep saying it, I don't know why, right? You've got two accounts. Well, you, even if you've got multiple accounts, you've got two accounts, which are clearly the ones in use. Mm -hmm. And for my ones, this isn't my console, but for my console, I'll always label them like the main account and then player two. Yeah. And then people always go to a third or a fourth or a fifth option. And make a guest and then one controller can get stuck in limbo and yep. then it messes up the, con the console. <laughs> yeah, I learned that the hard way trying to run a tournament before and someone has a green light. There should never ever be a green or purple light no, on it. It should I always ever be red. I didn't even know you could get green lights. <laughs> Phantom was showing me a purple color controller before and I was like, what's that? Yeah, that's, <laughs> someone's like not disconnected the controller. But one thing guys, get into the habit. This is casual. Yeah. So any setup you go for a tournament, delete all the pads yourself. Even if just one guy played before you, delete him. Because I've seen heartbreaks in tournaments where someone dropped a combo because someone pressed the button on another console. Yeah. And you try to reset the situation, but you've lost the O key, you lost the setup, you lost the mind games. Exactly. Brian. This is new. And we have another Brian player. That's good because I don't get to see Brian much. So Senpai is a very good Brian player. To be fair, so Senpai's a multi multi talented. Yeah, I've been seen him play player. Brian. So yes, I can't wait for this. Now Link you against the wall gets him with a mid kick, but doesn't get the full combo there. And we just taunt dashing goes up and throws it. The elbow, then goes to the orbital mix up there. Goes for a snake here, just out of range, and Vindaloo takes the first round. round two. Fight. Oh, wait, I blinked. What happened? Counter hit back one. 
point at the wall. No slash gig. He's going to do it again. Pressing the button. That's a perfect there. But Brian is very oppressive at the wall. But when you talk about oppressive play, you can argue, wow, there's so much trading. Doesn't break the one plus two throw. Oh, gets him with the low sweep there and oh, in the back. But he's back turned, so the combo, yeah. Oh, you just did it anyway. Yeah, I did. <laughs> wow, wow. I know I'm not going to hit you, wow. but I'm going to continue <laughs> because... <laughs> oh, that back turn, that move is quite difficult to combo, but he makes it. Oh, that could have been a Fisherman Suplex. Oh, that was nice. Absorbed the hit there. A lot of trades that we have in here. Ooh, nice mix up, and he just stays calm and then box slow. Oh, counter hit, and this is gonna hurt. Vinter Lou on an absolute tear here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's playing very well. He's doing quite well. Nice. Jumps into the throw. What's the mix up there? Tries to jump over, but gets caught with a get up low kick. Heal. Oh, in the back! Oh, that could have been costly. That could have been dead straight away. But Bindu has to make a comment now. He's got rage. It can be done with Ling. Oh, it just oh, goes for the snake edge. That's and dead. Brian takes it. Yay, Brian won! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not biased. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not biased. I remain professional at all times. <laughs> but so, yeah, very, very well played to Sam by and Vindaloo. Vindaloo is uh, a bit annoyed because I think he. he, thinks he, he could have had that. There was a few um, errors that he made, and the getting hit in the back definitely, uh, you know, definitely in that round, he could have uh, taken that. So next up, we have uh, next we've got Lucas. Now Lucas is pun a life. Claudio player. Yeah, pun life. Right. He's a Claudio player. A filthy, dirty, stinking. You say that, and then he says, you know, "He's a Claudio player." The pause. <laughs> you know what we're applying. <laughs> I mean, you play, you play a lot of characters, Ling's dirty, stinking Ling player. She you know. is. <laughs> She's horrible. She's really horrible. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so Pun Life has actually entered into uh, Strong Style for next weekend. As it is, I think Shiki has entered as well. Uh, I haven't seen his name yet, unless he's just done it recently, but no yeah. doubt he'll probably be there anyway, though. Yeah. And of course, one of our players who I'm actually really looking forward to seeing as Strong Style is Robin. Yeah, she's entered. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that she achieves great things. Yeah, it's it's, it's a great. Uh, just like with our previous events, um, the international competition coming over, we are having a lot of uh, EU uh, players coming over for it. So it's a lot of opportunity for you know some of the up and coming elf players to test their skills at varying different levels. You know they've had it locally and they get some of the UK's best. Now a lot of the uh, top EU players are coming over. Yeah, it's um. It should be a um, really good event and just, you know, people just to test where they're at, to see where my skills have led up to. You, know, you might lose, you might go 0 2, but there's a lot of things that you can take from it playing uh, against the best players in, in the EU. Yeah, absolutely. And we have Senpai switching to Lars. Yeah, we know that he's very good with a lot of characters and no doubt we're going to see him just play really well with Lars. Now, nobody really uses Lars. Everybody said that Lars is pants in this game. Yeah, everyone says that he's low tier because he's not as good as he was, but I will say he's not. Because when people get banged up by Lars, and as Vindaloo found out the other day, he said he hates Lars, he's still a good character. He's not as great as he was. He doesn't still... make any sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we talked about things that are not Tekken. You know, he's got his little dash. He's got uh, his little stupid little duck differently. He's got very good evasive moves, and he's does good damage. Oh, we have a button press. Oh, here we go. This Who's is, the culprit? This is casuals, but thankfully this wasn't guys, a major this is what we say event. About delete the pads from every time. Let me go see if I can figure this one out. No, I said they're just gonna go back into okay. it. I think they're good. So you'd think that Sony would actually work this out by now. Sony want to be, they actually said they want to be the console fighting games, but none of their uh, system setup is really suited for that. Not at all. You know, fighting games are kind of really the only tournament that needs this sort of thing, you know. 
most other tournaments are sort of on a PC, or you know, there's a few console ones, but you know, it, it would have helped if they included things like that. And we've seen Senpai just two rounds up, very solid with any character he picks up. Now, of course, these guys, although they're both elf, they don't actually play each other very often. Sorry guys, back now. And uh, Shiki, being a bully with Lars, that no one knows how to play against, because no one he, uses Lars. He came Lars. from a character that everyone used and no one used, and now he just switched position where no one really knows how to play against him, unless you played against him, you know, previously, and wow, these angles are just getting mixed up everywhere. Yeah. Now, Pun Life actually has this thing. Uh, whenever he enters the tournament, he actually has a tube of Starburst with him. <laughs> 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 and he offers his opponent a Starburst. Oh wow, that <laughs> I like that. Play into the gimmick of your character. Exactly. You know, we need more stuff like that. Very good patience from Pun Life as well. Ah, oh, he was so solid there. Very patient. He wasn't ducking. Senpai takes it with Lars there. Yeah. So our last person on this team is. Solid Rose. Yeah, I don't actually know Solid Rose. I've played against Solid Rose at Revolution. We oh, played really? in uh, top eight. He actually knocked me out in losers. Very, very close match. Um, taught me a lot that I need to learn against playing Lily, playing a, a, a good Lily, because online you don't really run into good Lilies. You run into players that just play. Oh, wait, sort. he's a Lily user. Yeah. A dirty, stinking, filthy Lily yeah, user. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, there's so many characters. Why can't people just play honest characters like Ryan? I know, right? What? <laughs> no, the only honest character is Geese. <laughs> Geese, he's like, right now is the epitome of like gimmicks. But, it's, you know, when you... When I like the balance of him. That he's, he's unsafe. So when people start to use him and do them safe, there's a lot of moves that Brian can punish with a raw launch just standing. Yeah. So... It does seem like you have to you have to commit to stuff you do with him. You can't just Absolutely. You like, decide I'm gonna do that. If it gets blocked, I'll get fisherman suplex and a Brian that's like ninety damage, you know. Or, or I can get messed up by it. I, I like the balance of things. I think he's the best um, guest character. Well, I like not a guest character, but you see the two D mechanics. I think he's the best one out of those mm. those three. Know, interestingly enough, I've actually got a headset, uh, headsets on the main setup. Oh, so he's not gone to Lily, sorry. He's oh, he's gone to... This I is one of his mains, actually. I know he has uh, a Jin. I haven't seen it personally. And Senpai's gone to Varang, probably because he knows uh, Solid Rose's uh, Jin is very good, so let's see. Yeah, interesting enough, I've actually got a, 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 my, a set of headsets on the main setup, which people are not using. Yeah. It's really weird, but the atmosphere in this place is so good. You see the contest of tournaments there, everyone puts them on for tournaments. Yeah. Every single person puts them on. Yeah. But then uh, the casual is like, nah, I'm not gonna I'm gonna play my sub characters and everything like that. But that's good. Forward four counter hit and first round goes to Solid Rose. That was quite um convincing actually. I don't know that Sheik is actually very, very handy with his uh rank. Yeah, um, he switched switch into his uh I think one of his mains. You can see he's taking it like, very serious against Solid Rose. Oh, catches him coming in. This is going to go to the wall. Oh, it doesn't actually finish it off though. It would have been costly for Jin because this stage is quite small. Oh, that's, oh, that's the low. Oh, nice evasive punch there. And one round up. That was an absolute barrage, barrage of moves then, wasn't it? Wouldn't, I wouldn't have known when to have pressed the button before, would I? That's the thing with Warang, you have to try and get him out of his uh, his flow and interrupt him because he can just go on forever. You have to know when to interrupt, know when to down jab. If you have a parry, know when to punch parry. 
because uh, he doesn't have a lot of punches, but there's certain punches that he does from certain stances, so if you can work that out. Oh, and he blocks the low and he gets the full punish there. Very good. Oh, size thing in the back. back. That could have been more possibly if he got a um, longer combo in the back. It's all guaranteed. He hits you in the back. Mix up from the rage drive. Goes for the throw, but excellent throw bait from Solid Rose. He's a poke him down with mids. This has become. Catches uh, him ducking. Very good round. It's become a bit of a grudge match, hasn't it? Yeah, you can see. Yeah, he took it seriously from picking our rank. Yeah. Oh, that power crush absorbs so much move. I like push him back to the over now. I've just noticed that the names are wrong. Oh, gets him with the full launch. The wolf's gonna mess this up, unfortunate, but he catches him ducking and three rounds to one from Solid Rose. Very good. And he actually knocks him out there and very good play. So next player up, Mr. Practical is up. <laughs> he was distracted. Senpai said he was distracted. <laughs> Wait, so I've lost track of who's who now. So next up we have Mr. Practical. I think he has a sort of characters as well. I know he plays Eliza, he plays Akuma. Uh, I think I might have seen him even play Brian as well at one point. So, is this 2-2 two -two now? Is this 2-2 two -two now? No, it's... Uh, 2 1. It's 2 1. Yeah, so uh, Solid Rose kept his team in the game. The thing that made me laugh is just your reaction. I'm done with this game. <laughs> this is tough. That was the time you thought. Oh, wow. <laughs> right, so Solid Rose uh, won the last match for his team. His team's still in it, and Mr. Practical, I'm not sure who he picked actually, but I know he's plays with a few characters. In the previous uh, tournament, he was actually in my team for the 5 on 5 team battle. And he's actually going with Shaheen. I personally have never seen his Shaheen, so we'll see how he does. Is this uh, him testing out a character he wants to use potentially in tournament, or is this another uh, sort of main that he's very comfortable with? Round one. Fight. So the Rose is fishing for the forward four counter here. It's a very strong tool with Jin. Stops anyone coming in. And he didn't get a full hit because he was in the air, but now we have a launch from this back to Shaheen. The combo there. Catches him ducking and takes him to the wall. Nice adjustment for the wall combo as well. Oh, the damage. Now Shaheen is very good at poking people down and he's on rage, closes the plus frames and he goes for the safe down forward one. Nice play from Solid Rose, playing very solid. See now this is a good example of, of tactics here because Team Rhodes again who put their the strongest character last, the strongest player last, in Solid Rhodes. Yeah. You know, yeah, which is a, obviously a, an obvious tactic, but some people do tend to leave with the strongest first, or even have the mid. I like that the fact of the team tournaments, there is, you know, you could say there isn't no right way to do it, because it always depends on what a sidestep launch in the back, full combo, slidey, does he go again? Goes for the slidey, <laughs> nice mix up again. there. Safe down for one, very good play there. He, he baited him out, he went inside crouching, but he didn't do it straight away. He crouched for a bit longer because you, you're tempted to duck to try and block the slide. There he goes again, goes to the mid now, and that is the mix up that you have all day with Shaheen. That mid elbow, and look at the damage that he gave, and he didn't even get the full combo off it. But very good play, and now we have a counter hit of his own from Solid of Rose, but he does drop the combo, unfortunate. 
Ashley on the final hit. That move is on stage. Gets the jump, but gets the rage drive. And, oh, a sliver of life. Ducks the stomp. Oh. oh. That was unlucky. He actually did the right... You can't avoid the stomp on the floor if you roll at the correct time, and he did that. So it's unfortunate that he got up with a button and he just got beat out. And he just does it again. Gets him ducking. I've always wondered about the physics of that. How two people can launch each other in the air at the same time. <laughs> you know? Yeah, there's some of the physics are not sort of on the, on the side of realism. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. It's all doesn't over. respect the stance. Very good play from uh, Mr. Practical. I like seeing the, the Shaheens. Like, you don't see much offline uh, locals. And um, you saw that Solid Rose there. You saw him in stance and he just didn't respect the stance. So who, who's next? For... Is that it? One, isn't there one more? Oh, isn't there one more? Oh wait, Jonas was uh, first. So, so Senpai so Jonas. won. Senpai beat two Practical. people. And lost one. I think you guys have actually won. I Isn't think you guys have won. We missed somebody. 